What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and here I've got the brand new iOS 8.4 firmware just released by Apple. Apple is certainly not wasting any time. They're releasing one software update after another, of course making it hard for jailbreakers, but at the same time adding many awesome new features to iOS 8. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through this new iOS 8.4 firmware, show you everything that's changed that's new, and I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. Apple has made some much welcome and much needed changes. So first off, I wanna show you guys I am running this brand new firmware where I was 8.4 right there. So this is running on my iPhone 6 Plus. I also have it on my iPhone 5. And initial impressions are that nothing speed-wise has changed. It feels just like iOS 8.3, which is good because that's great. When Apple adds new features, it's always good that it remains at the same performance level. Now, when it comes to features, iOS 8.4 is full of them, but in one section, the music application. This is one area where Apple has neglected changes and features since iOS 7 and iOS 8. I mean, there just hasn't been much has changed. Well, with iOS 8.4, Apple is certainly looking to change that, and that's all for one reason. Apple is looking to release the new Beats Music Stream service and they want to have a very nice platform to release it on and here is where the new music player inside of iOS 8.4 comes in so it's a beautiful redesign it has a very sleek and modern look to it something that looks like it would have come out of iOS 9 but Apple has decided to release it a little bit earlier so we now have three panes whereas there were five before there are only three now you can slide through them just like this and all in all, it makes it feel really nice. So first off, this is your music. You can categorize this by songs, by all of these right here. I choose songs because I like to see, you know, go through them real quick. And I gotta say, something I have noticed inside of the music player is if you have a ton of music like me, I, ha I think I have like, 1500 songs uh, somewhere around there, then uh, you'll notice that scrolling through them is much better. There's less lag. On my other 6 Plus on iOS 8.3, I've noticed that when I scroll through them, there's a lot of stutter, whereas in 8.4, Apple has certainly remedied that, especially if you have a huge library like me. So performance is a little bit better, but more than that, the looks have changed. It looks gorgeous. So this is this pane right here. You have recently added up here. And if you wanna see more, you can click on that. You can see all of the new music you have added right here. So in there you can see all of the new music. Basically, I'd say that Apple has simplified the music application. So instead of having five categories, things all over the place, Apple has put them into three categories and made it a little bit more simple. Now you have these little guys right here, you can click on them. So you can actually add music to an up next queue. And in here, if I select that, and you can access the queue by going to the new mini player, which is really cool. I'll talk about this guy in a little bit, but first off, you can drag it up, you can click it up. And then if you click on this guy right here, it'll show you the queue. This is all of the music that's gonna be playing next and you can reorganize the queue. So say you want this song to play uh, right away after that one, and you can add a list of music you wanna play next, which is really cool. I really like that feature. The search function has been improved, so now you can search everything. And inside of radio, you can search for radio stations in here just by flipping to that category right there, really cool. And another function I really like is if you wanna play a song, you can actually tap on any song and it'll play right away without any interruption. You're not gonna to go to another page, it'll just play. You can click another one, it will play. And if you wanna to go to the player, you now have this little mini player right here. And by the way, notice how it's on every single page. You have this guy playing. It's basically your now playing page. You can click on it or drag it up. And now you have this guy right here and it's a beautiful view. Now playing looks great. The album art takes up the entire page up here. You could slide it down. I mean, it just looks clean. It fits in very well with iOS 8 and I absolutely love it. So now you have some functions. First off, I'm not hooked up to my Apple TV, but you can airplay this music over. You will have a little button right here if you have it hooked up to an airplay device, such as an Apple TV, which is a nice touch. If you don't have the song downloaded from the cloud, you can click on this guy and select make this song available on this device. It will download that, basically your shuffle features down here. So really cool view, I absolutely love it. And the fact that it's so unobtrusive, you can always see where you're playing without needing to go to the now playing page, really nice function. So just to give you a closer look at this guy, you can actually pause and play from this little button right there. I absolutely love it. Click it, it comes up you know, slide it down and it's there. It's unobtrusive. It's a perfect way to interact with your now playing list and music while being able to browse other music and add it to your queue. Really cool. Now inside of the playlist tab, you can create a new playlist, which by itself is nothing new. However, you can customize it a little bit more. You can add a photo from your personal photos to the playlist. You can add a description so you can customize it much more than you previously could. I like that Apple's giving us a little bit more freedom there. Certainly a very nice touch. And lastly, iTunes radio. It has a completely new look. So 
so it's certainly a little bit cleaner it's easier to search for uh, stations and you can have all of them displayed just like this so easily select through them there's a lot of categories in here so a nice touch to the music application apple has finally taken something that is starting to look a little bit outdated refreshed it made it more useful less obtrusive especially with that now playing page so that's pretty much the biggest feature inside of ios 8.4 now there are a couple other changes as well nothing big except the music apple's basically taking a huge look at music especially since they're readying all devices for their new beats music streaming service now they have added audiobooks over to ibooks where they belong so in here if you actually scroll through that you could see audiobooks in here really cool they don't belong in your music application especially if you're listening to music and suddenly a book comes up or maybe you're practicing italian and that comes up really annoying so i'm glad apple has relocated that to the ibooks page so guys that's just about it ios 8.4 focuses heavily on the music application and basically this is to ready all devices for their new beats streaming music service and it's absolutely a gorgeous change apple has reinvigorated the music application it looks fresh it looks crisp and clean and i can't wait to use it on my personal device so ios 8.4 of course is only available to developers at the moment it's a great change for the music application but other than that there's really not much that's changed and it's kind of crazy how apple is releasing so many firmware updates i mean ios 8.4 is already on the way being worked on and 8.3 was just released a few days ago kind of crazy but it's great apple is making great progress they're moving forward and i cannot wait for this firmware to be available so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this little ios 8.4 overview just wanted to let you know what has changed and share these awesome new features inside of the music application with you have a great day peace